Good morning from Los Angeles. If you follow me over on Instagram, then you may have seen that at the end of April, Shravan and I left Melbourne to travel to the United States. The main reason for this trip was to attend Shravan's graduation, which I'll be sharing more of a little later on. And since we were making the long trip over there, we decided to make a bit of a holiday of it and spend some time adventuring around the States. We spent a total of four weeks traveling and exploring lots of new places, and I ended up filming so much of our journey. So I've put together a few videos, and I hope you guys enjoy coming along with us and seeing a little of what we've been up to. We had a direct 14 hour flight from Melbourne to Los Angeles, so we started our trip off here. Day one was very low key, we were both so jet lagged, so we didn't venture too far from our hotel. We were staying in the Hollywood area, so we spent some time walking around, checking out Hollywood Boulevard, finding a few places to eat and generally taking it pretty slow. Day two was our first day up and about. In the morning, we took a drive to Santa Monica and decided to spend the day here. Most of the morning, we spent walking around the pier and enjoying the sunshine. It was such a beautiful day and it was nice to be able to take it slow, explore on foot with no real goal or end destination in mind. After all that walking around, we were starting to get pretty hungry and we happened upon this spot called Earth Cafe. It was a total gem of a find. They had a great vegan and vegetarian menu, which was perfect for us, not to mention an amazing selection of teas. This morning, we started by heading to a place called Cafe Gratitude for breakfast. This was another delicious plant-based cafe in LA. They had a really cute menu where all of their dishes were titled as positive affirmations, which I loved. I also really like the look of a lot of their like tonics and teas. Their smoothies look really good. The guy recommended this one to us. It's like really good, like an immune boosting latte. Got our avocado toast. That looks delicious. And then what did you order? You ordered the eggplant parmesan sandwich. After breakfast, we got a lift to Griffith Observatory to take in some scenic views of Los Angeles and of course, get our iconic picture with the Hollywood sign.
Um, so can we get two cookies of the day, please? And then I'll get a chai tea latte. Um, um, we'll just, yeah, we'll just eat here. Totally fine, yeah. Do you change them every day? Is this like, oh, today is special or? Okay. Hello. We're just gonna have a chai tea latte, please. Later that afternoon, we had tickets to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. And for any of my fellow movie buffs out there, I'd highly recommend paying this place a visit. There is so much to see from original movie scripts, costumes, props, and of course, the main reason I wanted to visit was to see Hayao Miyazaki's exhibit. He is my favorite animator of all time, and Shravan and I are huge Studio Ghibli nerds. We love all of the films, and I find his work so inspiring. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film in that part of the museum, but we did see a lot of pretty cool stuff. Slippers worn by Judy Garland as Dorothy Gale. There's no place like home. Hi everyone, we have arrived in Ann Arbor, which is a small city um, in Michigan. And it's also where the University of Michigan is located. And we're here for the weekend. So we arrived on Friday night and we're here for all of Saturday, all of Sunday, and then we leave on Monday morning. Uh, and we're here to attend Shravan's graduation. So um, very exciting. I wanna show you guys where we're staying. It's really cool. It's a place called the Tiny House and it's basically a tiny house uh, located in someone's backyard. So they've built this place and then they um, Airbnb it. Yeah, it's really cute. It's perfect for the two of us. It's got everything we need. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tour. So they've got these cute little pavers leading up to the house. And there it is. How cute is that? And then off to the side, they've actually got their shed and they've got some chooks. <laughs> some little tulips. 
This is definitely one of our favorite places that we stayed at during this trip. It was so different and quirky and I think the DIY spirit in me could appreciate how cleverly put together this place was. Also, I enjoyed the experience of living in a small space and seeing how it was designed to still be fully functional. The tiny house was completely separate from the main property and had its own access, which I really liked. So we had our privacy and we were able to come and go as we liked. When you enter the house, there's a little entryway where we could hang up our coats and place our shoes and then off to the side there was this kitchenette that had everything we needed I made full use of that kettle to have lots of teas during the mornings and evenings and we were able to store leftovers in the fridge and then heat them up whenever we got hungry, which felt very homely and nice. It definitely came in handy because with Shravan's graduation, we just had a lot of places to be and times just didn't always line up with mealtimes. As you walk in, there was a lounge with a table, board games, TV, pillows, blankets. It was so cozy. And then there was this bathroom off to the side there. Now for the really quirky part, <laughs> next to the blackboard, there was this ladder that led to the upstairs section where the main bed was located. It wasn't the easiest to climb, but thankfully we were both pretty physically able. The table in the lounge did open up to form a bed. We didn't try it, but I guess that was always an option. We had some fun getting up and down this ladder. The upstairs was really simple. It had a bed that was so cute and cozy. The weather while we were in Michigan was really cold. So the house in general, once the heater was going, was pretty warm and toasty. Good morning everyone. We are at the tiny house this morning. We've just woken up and gotten ready. It's about 6.30 in the morning. So today we've got Shravan's second graduation ceremony, which will be um, uh, where he's actually giving his speech. So we're gonna go to that. That's actually starting at four, but we've got a brunch um, in the morning with like the lecturers and professors at nine at a place called AMA. It's like a buffet breakfast. So we're looking forward to that. We got back to the tiny house yesterday at about, I think 6.37 and we were exhausted. We went straight to bed and we didn't even have any dinner. We woke up. Yeah, I woke up at four this morning. Um, it's still the jet lag. It's just taking a lot of time to recover from it. I've got my tea here. It's a vanilla, what is it? It's a vanilla caramel chai. Um, and it's by the brand like Tazo or Taser. Um, and it's really nice. I really like this one. I haven't had anything like it. Um, and then I just had a peanut granola bar as well but anyway i'm gonna go and i uh, will see you guys in a little bit I'm a 